Well, back, welcome back to Carolina Rock Cuddles. You know what we're doing today? We're getting the 350 running. We went ahead and got some spark plugs, got some oil, got a new carburetor, air filter. Me personally, I like to change all the fluids whenever I get something new. That way it's 100% short, uh, right. Plus, he says the carburetor float was stuck, so it could have dumped some gas in the oil. It doesn't look like it, but it's better to go ahead and change it. So let's go ahead and get on this. Probably might start with the carb for us. Looks like I might a lot of stuff to take off. Let's get to this. Okay, the first step is getting all this plastic out your way. I just kind of popped a little bit. Anyways, you got the two clamps back here. The clamp right here, the one that goes on here. There's one here, one on the front. Take that off. Then you take, go ahead, take the fuel line off. And uh, on this other side is a black cover. Mine was off. And you're just going to pry it up. It got, that little thing, that little cable went in there. And you're going to, you want to pry it up and pull it out the way. Now, what we're doing, oh crap, I tripped. We gotta go ahead and take this right here off, which I'm thinking is a half inch. Nope, nine sixteens. Yeah, close enough. Anyway, you're gonna take that off and that's everything on it, guys. Make sure you unplug it too. So give me a second, I'll have this thing out. So, we got it out of the way. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I already had the black cover off. That's where the choke cable goes. You just pry it up, take the thing, go around, and let go. And extra. Anyways, now we got to put the new one on. And I think I got to change these two little plugs right there. I forget what it's called. But let me get to that. Let me get this other carb ready, and we'll throw that on right fast. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, online it said that this plug wasn't right, and they said you have to splice it, which is easy for me. But to show it. This is the original plug, see? If you can focus, two females. This is, and that's what it heads to. This is what this one is. Two males. <laughs> two females, two males. But these are supposed to be the same plug, by the way. So they go, boop. So we're gonna cut this end off and put on here, unless I have one sitting around, which I don't. And uh, yeah, it's I guess it's like a carb heater. I, I don't really know. Anyways, I'm gonna cut the ends off, put it back on, and then we'll probably start plumbing this a little bit and get it up there. It shouldn't be too hard, it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty self-explanatory how everything goes. So the color coordination is a little off, but I'm assuming the yellow will go with the straight yellow and the green stripe will go with the orange stripe, which has, oh, which has faded, but stripe, stripe, solid, solid. That's how I'm gonna go. If it doesn't work, I'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll be a lot of troubleshooting before I figure that out. But okay, let me put some connectors on this and get it up there. So we got it together. Well, there it goes. Sadly, I didn't have none of my uh, heat shrink ones, so. I had to use tape. I like my little shrinky dinks is what I call them. The ones you can heat back up. Anyways, let's go ahead and plumb this thing. Make sure we have all the little parts on it. And we'll put it on and it should run. Well, we got to put a spark plug in it too and the oil. But then we have it running. So, so I noticed that this vent is missing on the new one. Because again, this is, this is not the same one. This is kind of a Chinese one, knockoff, whatever. And I went ahead and put the vent hose on. Gotta take this off, put this vent hose back on that. Um, other than that, everything seems to be about right. <clears throat> and I'm just putting it together piece by piece. Take everything off this and put on this. But we got a few little things we gotta get to. Ugh. Like we gotta take this vent hose and put the regular one back on. I just wanna show you all a few things that I've noticed. There's a few things different, which ain't the end of the world. Like if you don't, that's the, uh, that's a little screw you, you torn to thought, uh, give it more fuel less fuel and i'm assuming this one focus this one's going way out than this one so i i could probably fix this one i might actually try fixing this one to have a spell because the more i look at it it's not in bad shape it probably has bad gas and the guy probably finagled with it enough it got bad but anyways i'm gonna get this thing put it on <sighs> okay we got the carb in got the air filled in you can see the vent lines i'm a I'm probably gonna run them in a way that I can get back to them, come a snorkel it. I also found out this thing's out of gas. I thought I was thought I was gonna drain the gas. Then I realized there is no gas. That's probably why I wouldn't start yesterday. Also, look at this spot plug. Look at that. Tell me why it wouldn't start. I wonder. Holy crap. Well, anyways, I got a new spot plug. 
This is why I tell y'all to always change the spark plug. I've seen people go, I got a bike, fault it, it won't run. My buddy said he walked on all the time, couldn't get it to run. And it'll just be a spark plug. Trust me, spark plug should always be the first thing you hear if you're not, if it's not starting. If it's, unless it's been sitting for a long time, then it's probably the car. But always put a new spark plug. Well, let me get this spark plug in and we might put some gas in it. It might run. I probably have to do some fine tuning, but let me get the spark plug in and some gas and we'll see if we can maybe get it running. So we got everything on, but sadly, the petcock that goes under the tank is leaking, meaning the guy probably tried to pull the tank off and he broke it. Anyway, it ain't the end of the world. We're gonna see if we can get this thing to jump start. Let's, everybody say a prayer for me. Let's see if we can get this going. Oh, we don't have it on. Ugh. I hate the way this guy has everything set up. Okay, so we're leaking gas. So we're hoping it don't blow up on us, but I got it to run. I got a fire extinguisher close by. Uh, we, ain't got, we ain't started, we ain't got it run. We got the jumper by. So let's see if we can get it started. Oh, wow. Started right up. You guys saw it here it started right up no trouble of course the pet cock's broken like i said and uh yeah i had a little high i gotta idle the idle it back but y'all just saw it. we just put the carburetor on and now she's running no trouble that's what i'm talking about i am kind of pissed off at this though like seriously why is it every time you think you got something it's like ah oh, dang it i was hoping to have this thing done today and go for a nice ride well guys as you see that's how it went we still got to go with the, get the oil in it and clean ourselves up and get this thing going. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.